her a little country ass out of him. Let's go. Hello, this is Kev. This is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. Uh, if you haven't, go below the screen and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit that like. And, um, okay. Uh, let me ask you a question. You ever get that, uh, this is why Kaepernick Neal feeling when you see something that's, you know, caught the eye of the viewing public? Well, um, this definitely caught a bunch of eyes. Apparently on Friday, this, uh, this genius right here, uh, the mayor of St. Louis, Lydia Cruz, well, Lita, Lita Cruzen, um, she decided to go on Facebook Live and release the names and addresses of people who called for police reform, which is very dangerous, and if any retaliation were to occur, she would be very complicit. So there was this large, maybe 300 people march protest calling for her resignation. And they should have. But, of course, not everyone was happy about it. Now, you see the miserable, uh, possible extreme racist with the guns here. Uh, that is Mark and Patricia McCluskey, um, two lawyers who reside in St. Louis. And they decided to get all gung-ho and uh, uh, confederate on everybody, you know, and pointing uh you know, and started to point their gun at uh, peaceful protesters. Now, um, you know, we know, and, and let's just go ahead and get this bullshit out the way. We we know that there are people who tore up property and, and, and destroyed things, but hey, you know what? Some of those people had a white face on them too. In fact, a lot of them did. So it is unfair and yes, downright racist to stereotype peaceful protesters as possible rioters. Um, and, but of course, they what they felt they did was right, and I'll explain that right out. Oh my God! Wow, the bitterness and the racism, and the, you know, that, and that, that's that's why I feel like white shouldn't be racist. I mean, it really, it really takes its toll, and you know, the years of very unkind to people, especially uh, Miss uh, Karen right, Patricia right here. Uh, it's, it's, it's insane, and it's like, y'all need to come out of that shit, for real, for real. Those people were walking by, and they weren't even thinking about you. Now, what if some of those people were armed? Now, let's, let me show you this video right here, and, um, you decide for yourselves. I like to call this, what the Karen is this. Okay, oh, look at that bitter racist face right there. Now, the first thing that I'm thinking as a black man is if one of those people had been black, they'd have had cops on their ass and they'd have had more holes in them than a, a party that only Swiss cheese was invited to. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous that we even have to have these protests in the first and, 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 and seriously, though, those two armed up like that that does kind of make a statement here's what they think about you if anything were to pop off they're letting you know that they're ready but you know the downfall of that would be what if the other side was ready too and it's only two of them but there's only so much they can do now does every person have a right to defend their homes yes they do most definitely now, people would have came on there talking, you know, throwing garbage cans in their windows trying to tear up stuff. They would have every reason to believe that their life was in danger. But like I said, you know, it's hard to tell for, as a black man for me that what, what do they perceive as their life in danger and what I perceive as peaceful. You know, I don't want to hear that. We handle peaceful protesters like they're absolute animals in this country historically. This is a country that used to turn water hoses on little children 
little girls and little boys being sprayed by water hoses. Yeah, this this is the this is the kind of cough that these people are are, are cut from. So so you know, I want y'all to think about this kind of thing. You know, it, it, it's like this. It, it's like this. What if them protesters would have turned on those people? What if the protesters would have felt like their life was in danger? Uh, yeah, a couple of them got shot. But you know what? Let me just break it down to you like this. Let me be brutally honest. No person with common sense is going to approach an armed person if they are unarmed. In other words, I felt like what these two did, this Karen and her cuck old husband did was beyond necessary. They were just they were just what we like to call back in the old neighborhoods flossing. They were just showing off their little pieces. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get like they they did something that they knew they could do. They were being bullies in their bare feet. But well, nobody gonna do nothing to you. They just want that crooked ass mayor who with, with her little racist cop force. They 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 want all of them gone, and they have every right to. If you, if you know what, if you don't, if, if the mayor doesn't want people marching on her city, do your fucking job. Period. But like I said, ask Martin Luther King, but you can't. And he was the most peaceful protester in history. So there. Okay, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, you know, uh, about this kind of thing that goes on. Um, do you think they were right? Do you think they were wrong? Do you think they were being blatantly racist? Let me know. Because I already told you what I thought. Shit. So anyway, uh, just thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, long live the habitual line steppers. And can we trust? Goodbye.